Are you frustrated with online dating? Confused by all the new apps and fancy dating sites? Do you find yourself choosing the wrong person again and again? Well, studies show that hiring a dating coach can maximize your online dating experience. So no worries, I've got you. And I've created a virtual course called Doing Dating Right. It's a five video series that you can complete at your own pace in your own space, right at home. How to write your online dating bio, pick that perfect picture, and so much more. Want more info? Go to my website at jenniferherbits.com. Again, it's jenniferherbits.com. Good morning. Good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hervitz, and I'm your host every single Tuesday and Friday now too, which is so exciting. And I'm back. I'm back. I had a summer hiatus. I was really bored. I came back in September and I just have to tell you, Aaron, Aaron Hill is here. Aaron, hi, honey. You are my first guest. My first guest back. I decided to make you my very first guest. And um, I have to tell everybody, Aaron and I met, this is our first time meeting like face to face, but um, I stalked you like forever. <laughs> and then we met and Aaron is, I just have to, I have to say you're the reality TV queen. That's what I call you. Oh, thank the you. The queen of, of reality television. And I am so in awe of what you do. And I'm so jealous of what you do. Um, Everybody, this is Aaron Hill. And she has so many different things going on. So many things. First of all, you're a relationship expert. You're a sleep expert. You're a dating coach, right? Is that right too? Yeah. I think you do it all. But Okay, forget all that on top of it all. You deal with not only relationships in general, but relationships on all of the reality TV Bachelor Nation like network people. All the people you interview with the bachelors, the bachelorettes, the I mean, am I getting this right? Everybody? Yeah. The F so boys. Much fun. I have the best job. You have the best job <laughs> in the entire world. I can't wait to talk about it, about the relationships and everything. But first of all, so let me get your your podcast right. You have Getting Cozy with Aaron, which is on the Taste of Reality Network. That's Got right. that right. Okay. Yeah. Then you have the, we have to talk about Batch Af After Dark. So Batch After Dark is your new one. Yes, that is for sex, sex positive listeners, mm -hmm. which I love. That's right. That's and it's right. hot as hell. It is hot and sexy. And if I was on, I want to come on that show because I can't, because I'm not a bachelorette or bachelor, whatever, but it is amazing. Jen, come and be my guest co-host then. I'd love to have you. I would love it. I would love it more than anything. Okay, enough about me. Aaron, tell me, where, how did this start? Where are you? Where did you start all this? Where, I mean, first of all, you're married. So I want to talk about that too, how you do this and your husband is like, just go and do it. You have two, you have two kids, but let's start at the beginning how this came to be. How did this all start? So, so I used to be a baby food ambassador. I don't even know if you know this, Jen. I no. know. Yes, yes. What do you mean? So, when my son was young, he's six now, but when he was a tiny baby, they um, kind of, I ran like a mom's group in Fremont, California. Okay, that doesn't and, surprise me at all. And uh, and they contacted me and said, hey, you'd be perfect to be an ambassador for our baby food. You know, you you were in touch with all the parents in the Bay you know, Bay Area. I, had a, I have a Facebook group called uh, Bay Area Parents and Children that I started. So I um, was like, yeah, let's do it. And I love the fact that I would get free baby food for my baby, right? <laughs> amazing, yes. And Beach Nut is all natural. You know, they never use anything oh, right. artificial, right? Yeah, everybody yeah. knows it's like 150 years old. I mean, this is like standard, gold standard, right? So happy to be a part of a company like that. I was with them for four years. And at the end, they asked me to um, basically be their spokesperson on a podcast, called Mom Talk Radio. I did not know that. Yeah, that was kind of my first taste of podcasting because I actually had never even heard of a podcast before yeah, that. And I thought, this is so fun. I think it was like a seven minute stint. And I thought, I want more. I want to do this again. It was so fun. So I got together with a girlfriend of mine and another mom. And we formed Mimosa Mamas, mingling with Wait Mimosa Mamas. Is that you? Yeah. I, oh my God, shut up. Wait a minute. I, I used to listen to, I didn't know that was yours. Yes. Wait just a minute, everybody. I love that. Are you guys still, but you're not still doing it. No, we kind of went our separate ways, yes. um, but we had so much fun. And Ben Higgins, OG bachelor was our fit, was like our first bachelor guy. Yes, Funny thing. We actually had a family connection. My brother-in-law worked with him. And I was at their engagement party, uh, at my brother-in-law's engagement party. And he mentioned that. And I was like, excuse me, wait a minute. Can you please hook me up? I love Ben. You know, he's my favorite. So that's kind of how that door opened. And he literally started all of the Bachelor Bash Nation uh, interviews. Just him. Oh, my gosh. All of them. 
So that's how this all started. Okay. But meanwhile, yeah. so somewhere in there, this is after you got married because you, I know oh, you've yes. been married for 10 years. So congratulations. Because yeah. of course I'm doing relationships, right? You know how to do relationships, right? I love that. Uh, and we'll you. go back to that because I want the story, how you guys, what you did on your first date, I love. Um, <laughs> so that started. And then, so there, your first show was that one, but then when did you get into the whole, um, was Tub Talk first or what was Getting Cozy was first. So okay. we were approached by the Taste of Reality Network to be a part of their network, you know, be okay. um, join their little family. And, you know, my partner and I just kind of st- saw differently. I kind of was okay with it going in a more reality TV direction where she wanted to kind of take it more in like a a motherhood, women empowerment, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, no. but we just kind of were seeing different sure. and taste reality needed us to be more reality TV focused. Right. So I told them, well, you can have me, you know, and, and the, uh, the head of the network said, well, I'd love to have you and let's create a whole new show for you. And I'm Southern Jen. So getting cozy just kind of came oh, yeah, very natural. From, aren't you from name. Charlotte too? I grew up in North Charlotte. Yes. yes. I love it. Yeah. That's what yes. I love. I love it. Okay. So mm-hmm. Okay, so that's how that started. But then, so what was your first season? Well, you've watched about your since season one with me. Yeah. Right? Okay, yes. but what was your first season that you started interviewing these people? Oh, good question. Okay, so I would say listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. So it wasn't oh, it wasn't too long ago, but I, I watched it? Listen to Your Heart. I did not like that people weren't um, accepting it as a bachelor's show. That bothered me. Because I thought these people were wonderful. They're talented. They were, you know, beautiful souls. And I wanted to give them more, um, I wanted to give them more of a platform, right? Yes. So I started having them on my live show during the pandemic. And that's where Tub Talk was born. Yes. Oh my God. I didn't know it was that recent. It actually was. I thought it was like so long ago. No. Because you had, um, I mean, you have so many people on that I'm obsessed with. Rudy. Rudy is like. I know. We I love, love my girl. She's my girl. I love her. I love her. I love her voice. Yeah. First of all, that was a great show. And I think people like, is it going to come back? Do you think? Cause I know, you know, secrets. No, no way. The ratings were so low. You know, ABC is all about ratings, right? All so about ratings. no lace into your heart. If they had made it more about the, the music, I yes. think it would have done, done better, but because yeah. they had a, a competition show and it was a love show and it was a music show, it was too much. There's too just much. too people much there, couldn't. too much pressure. Um, to get in a relationship and, and, you know, people should have like paired up organically, right. not really feeling forced. And a lot of the cast said they, they felt pretty forced to be in a it relationship. Was forced. Yeah. Because and it didn't they, work, right? Yeah. Well, if yeah. not, then they couldn't get their careers taken off if they didn't force exactly. those relationships to happen. Right. Yeah. Which is so interesting. They did it all wrong. All wrong. Okay. So that's never coming back, but then can those people no. on that show, can they go to the bachelor in paradise or no? So Rudy was asked, <gasps> but she had already met a guy that she now is like super, you know, into in, in, your, in a relationship oh, with, I believe. Oh, so oh yeah, God. she just introduced him to kind of the world uh, oh, recently. And she that. told me, I will never do that unless it's very serious. So okay. they are solid. Okay. Oh, I love um, that. So she yeah, she favorite. said, you know what? I'm not, not going to, I'm not going to risk this maybe once in a lifetime, you know, relationship. Okay. We're going all over the place, but I have another we question are. really quickly because Bachelor in Paradise is on my head. So yeah. no spoilers because we're done with the season. So I can say this, but I saw the yeah. promo for Bachelor in Paradise and I noticed a lot of, um, Katie's guys are in Bachelor Paradise. They're in, pa- they're in paradise right now. How did yeah. that happen? Aaron, you yeah. know these things. How did that? So, um, the way they do the filming, it's funny. Like they literally start casting for paradise about two weeks into the bachelorette, if you can believe that. So they're, they're already Uh, having guys, you know, plan to go to paradise and they've, they've, they were already filming it when bachelorette was airing. Yeah. So they were dating Katie. And so these guys already knew they were leaving. I think that once they once they realized that they weren't going to be chosen, you know, the okay. the network was like, okay, well, Paradise is an option if you want to go to Paradise. Let's let's oh, wow. put you there. Let's get you there. Wow. You know, wow. Um, wow. But yeah, and and I'm I have to be honest. Like I'm very nervous about Tasha's guys. I'm very close to a lot of them. Yeah, and I think that a lot happens. You know, that will I mean, affect their mental health, which makes me really nervous for them. That is, a, I wanted to ask you that question too. I'm so glad you segued into that. Do they have psychologists there? Because I read some, t- no, they don't. I read way back in like the first nope. 10 up, um, seasons, they used to have a psychologist in the limo mm-hmm. or the, when they got picked up to take, but is that no longer? No longer. No. 
And I believe sometimes they have one at the very, very end. Okay. But to be honest, I think it would be very helpful to have one during yes. the process, right? I think it should be you. <laughs> I would 100% I think be, accept. <laughs> I think you should. we should go. It should be you and I. We should be dating coaches along the way. Don't you think that would add like a totally Tag different... Team. I think yes. like an older woman, not you, but I'm old, but you're not as old as me, but like a, like a more <laughs> mature, old. you know what I'm saying? Like a, if we could give them a little advice along the way and say, look, you know, like this is, you know, it's going this way, it's going that way. I think they would be like, it'd be like. But Jen, that will never happen. You know why? Because the ratings. They, they want like the, the drama. drama. They want they the want confusion. The they want what we oh. saw last night, right? The uh, back and forth and the. Yes. The tension. Yeah, they exactly. They want they all of it. that. So having a counselor there trying to clarify things for them, they don't right. want that, no, right? Of course not. Of course, no. you're so right about that. But on The Bachelor in Paradise, it's going to be a shit show. 100%. I'm very oh. nervous. I, I literally am getting like chills. 100% because I, I love these guys. I mean, I've had them all on top, a lot, a lot of, of them on Top Talk and I've gotten to know them. And yeah. I know who they are, wh- how their hearts are. So I will be a mama bear. I will be fiercely protecting and, um, you know, defending them. Yes. yes, I will. And that's, it's really interesting too, because for someone who is not even, you know, you weren't connected, you had no, like, you know, and now you're into them. So you're like involved so deeply in Bachelor Nation. Yeah. It's nice to see somebody not connected that's connected. I really yeah. appreciate that. For, like, they have, they have welcomed me with open arms, you know, they really have. And yeah, that is just, it you. just means the world. They're wonderful. Right. And, I mean, and we've done clubhouse rooms before and you're like, oh, I'll have this one yeah. come on in and up. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you just came in. Like, it's just very, you're very, you know, it's very cool for you. Aww, okay. So, you. but the tub talks are different than getting cozy, which is different than let's talk about my new favorite, which is batch after dark. Batch after dark. Everybody batch after dark. Okay. Batch after dark is you turn up the, is you, I mean, it is just talk about that. Tell everybody about batch after dark. <laughs> So um, I know we talked about this, Jen, how we get our best ideas in the bathroom, right? Like you're showering (laughs) or whatever. I'm always brushing my teeth. That's like my moment to just- Okay, mine's in the shower, yes. Right? To just be like in my head. Well, I had this idea of doing a sex podcast with Bachelor Nation. Oh God, I got the chill. While I was brushing my teeth, I remember telling my husband, I'm like, should I do this? Oh my God. And I want to call it Batch After Dark. It's amazing. And I just thought, let me just, let me just go with this. Let me just, you know, let me sleep on it. Let me think about it, whatever, woke up. And I was like even more on fire. And at the time I was talking to Peter and Dustin's um, podcast producer Mm -hmm. because we were collaborating, you know, um, he's awesome. And and Peter is the pilot, Pilot Pete. Pilot Mm -hmm. Pete. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Dustin was on his season also. Yes. Yes. Dustin. Yes, exactly. On Hannah Brown. Yes. So that's okay, where they so met. You... So they okay. they have a podcast okay. called Bachelors in the City, and I absolutely love it. And I was promoting it, and I just I thought it was wonderful. I I love the their dynamic and their energy and everything. And so I said, well, hey, you know, I don't know if you guys are looking for more shows for Red Rock, um, but I have an an idea that I'd love to pitch. And he's like, do it, do it. And I told him, and he's like, wow, that's incredible. Like, not, there's nothing like that out there. And so basically, it's just you know, normalizing talking about sex, but with Love Bachelor it. Nation. Because I feel like the show in general tries to touch on it. Like this this season with Katie, by far more sex, right, than we've ever seen. But, but that's but they did not a good normal. job. They did they did a good job though. They did. They did an thought, excellent job. Yeah, they did a great job. They could have even taken it a little further, I think. I but they're they're trying to be conservative and not lose viewers, which I completely understand. Right. But why not take that to the next level with a podcast that literally asks Bachelor Nation, have you ever been in a threesome? When was your first sexual experience? So what turns you on? Yes. Right? Wh- yes. What's the craziest place you've had sex? Like, do people not want to know this? I think of people course. do. I do right. want to know. I do. <laughs> and I listened and I was like, OMG. I loved it. And you know what? The way you do it, like everyone asked, you have to listen to this podcast, y'all. All the links will be in my bio. I mean, my show notes, of course. But the way you do it, like, it's comfortable. Like, oh, it's not you. creepy, like, like weird and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like some of these, mm-hmm. like, I feel like your bachelors or your, whoever you're, you know, interviewing, they feel comfortable answering you because they know you. Right. Right. It's that like and no ones, trust. Right. And the ones that don't, you know, I, I really try to warm them up first. And I have to say, I have an amazing co-host, you know, Kelsey, yes. the funny bad. Kelsey, love her. She isn't, we love Kelsey. She isn't afraid to go crazy you know go she she goes in hard 
And I put some She's lube like, on, go. as I say, right? I put some <laughs> lube on and we, we kind of slowly, you know, slide it in. She's like, bam. I mean, right yeah. away, breaks the ice. I love it. It's love it. We are such a good dynamic duo you in are. that, you know? You really I'm are. I'm soft and she's hard, but in a, the best way. <laughs> the best way. It's fantastic. Right. And you know what? I, I really do think that it's um, – it, and. I thought about like, does your husband care? Does her family care? And your husband doesn't. He's like, so he's like, go do it. Like, this is it. He loves it. He thinks it's great. He great. he knows we have an incredible sex life. And, you know, I, the, my last episode, I was talking about having birthday sex at like literally 1201. And uh, just just really quick, like he was asleep and he, and he even told me, he's like, I'm probably going to fall asleep, but I want you to get yours. So... He was asleep, but, you know, the other part of him wasn't. And so, you know, I just, I helped myself to a little birthday sex and uh, <laughs> it, was, it was perfect. Like a happy birthday to me. Right, you, exactly. That's all, is, that's all there is to it. I love it. And so now I'm going to segue. I love that you do this for me because you're clearly a <laughs> podcast host. You just segue right into this. So I need every, you need, speaking of doing relationships, right, and sex. So when you met your husband and you're, and we always talk about this dating thing all the time, but what did you say to him on your first date? If co-parenting during a pandemic taught us anything, it's that you need proof your kids are safe. With alcohol abuse on the rise, many co-parents are turning to the no-nonsense system committed to providing proof, protection, and peace of mind. Soberlink's alcohol monitoring system is the most convenient, reliable, and reasonable way for a parent to provide evidence that they are not drinking during parenting time. Soberlink's real-time alerts make it easy to negotiate with any party. Judges rest assured the child is safe. Attorneys get court admissible evidence of sobriety, and both parents have empowerment and peace of mind. Do divorce right and trust the experts in remote alcohol monitoring technology to keep your kids safe, happy, and well adjusted. For an exclusive $50 off your device and to download five negotiables for embracing a new normal I developed with Soberlink, visit www.soberlink.com. Backslash D R R. Oh, I told him uh, that I picture us. I, well, I want to get married within like two to three years, have kids yep. right after that. And I said, if you're not on board with that plan, this can be our first and only date. That's basically what I said. So I tried to scare the hell out of him. The and I always tell people, you know, he's like, yeah, I was a little, you know, I was a little nervous, like after hearing that, but I was like, she's got a great rack and she's pretty. I'm going to see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> but you also, I use your quote now, my favorite quote of all time. I have two favorite quotes, but one of them, I, and I always give you credit. You said, you can't scare off the right person. Right. You right. can't scare off the right person. There's your sound bite. But Aaron says, oh, and I'm like, that is just the best thing. You can't. So you mm -hmm. did not scare off the right person. He was the right person for you. Yeah. You said what you wanted. You were, you stated what you were looking for and you didn't, and that was it, right? Yeah. Because I tell my clients all the time, don't be afraid to say what you want, right? Right. Right. And, and be yourself, be your true authentic self from day yeah. one. I wasn't putting on any acts. You know, I wanted to make sure he knew that I was ready. I was ready to be yep. wifed up. Okay. Yep. Wifed up. You're like, just... <laughs> Grab me. This is it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And you also talked about how you were authentic and you were real, right? But you also mm -hmm. like, weren't you like in a hat or base? Was that you? Your baseball hat? No, you but not allowed. Oh, makeup. I, I had, um, I was dressed very casually. I right. had like a sweatshirt on, jeans, tennies, and he gave me a hard time about it. And he's like, where's my skirt? You know? And I was like, if you get to the second date, you can have a skirt. Okay, buddy. But I, you know, I showed a little cleavage. I had some makeup on. I didn't look yeah. scary, no. but I, I didn't, I also didn't put like fake, uh, uh, I can't fake. talk, fake lashes. Right. You know, like I was me, I was just natural and that's what he loved. He wanted yeah. that. He didn't want me he wanted you know, the, to the try to that's what he wanted. be this person I wasn't. Yeah. And it's important. Right. Exactly. So, and I'm going to go into this too. So like, for example, like Bachelor in Paradise, I think to myself every time I watch it, how are those girls looking so gorgeous <laughs> on that beach in that sun melting their, I mean, how, how is it all like, I don't, I just don't. They just bring, you know, the whole kitchen sink with them. I mean, they, they just have their, their little, uh, and especially the ones that are going now, you got to think about it. They were on Peter season. They've been, they've been anticipating this for a long time. So right? they're working, they're working on themselves before. Yeah. They they're going to make sure they look. 10 out of 10 off the chart. So and Demi's I am back. not surprised. And Demi, they brought Demi back. I mean, that preview with Demi saying that I'm going to take all your men, like, 
but you know, like that's the thing. Like I, I feel like some of them, some of them are so they really are authentic, good humans, right? They are, and they're looking for good relationships. Like Katie, mm-hmm. like she's a really. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Then there are other ones who, yes. like, no offense to Demi, but like who you know are there just to bullshit around. Yeah. And to yeah. bring drama. And I'm thinking, like, right. don't they see? Like, and I know that they want that for the ratings and blah blah blah. But they it's do. like, I think to myself, these poor kids who are like yeah. they're young. Yeah. And you know, and they and then they have that what's the other one who on Katie's season who said he wanted to be the bachelor? Aaron? No, I like Aaron. The other one. Uh Thomas? Yeah. He's mm-hmm. there. With Becca. But you know, oh, I'm not I'm not Becca. a fan of Becca. Who's Becca? Which one is Becca? Becca's the one that uh was the bachelorette with Blake Hortzman and Garrett. Problematic Garrett. Oh my the one god. That was She's engaged single? for two Wait, years. I thought she was Garrett. Engaged? Yes. And they brought Becca? Yes. She was Come on. Right, right. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. So I – and I've heard too much. I'm not going to say anything, no, but, you know, no. I've, I've heard too much. Um, although, you know, when this when this comes out, I mean, a lot of – will have been uh, out already. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, she and Thomas, I think that's completely fake and fabricated. I don't think yeah. that's any – I think they're just trying to stir up drama. And I consider her a clout chaser, to be honest with you. What does that I'm, mean? I'm not a fan. Cloud chaser, chaser, just wanting to be with someone. Oh, cloud. Um, cloud chaser. Cloud. Cloud. I thought you meant cloud. I'm like a cloud. I okay, I was like, I don't know that. What does that mean? Cloud. I'm really yeah, old. Cloud, cloud, cloud chaser. chaser. But gotcha, she doesn't yes. make the best decisions. Let's just be honest. You think? Yeah, no. And honestly, I've met her in person, and I was, I was impressed. Okay. You've met a lot. You've went on the beach with these people. You are very, very connected, Miss Thing. It's I'm very, very fun. Impressed. It's very by fun you. to meet them in person. And yes. I, okay. to be honest, a lot of them have blown me away because they are really, really incredible. And I am meeting finally Peter, Dustin. Uh, let's see who else is going to be there. Marcus, you know our friend Marcus. They're oh. all going to be in New York City when I'm there in September. So I cannot wait. Oh, for that. I knew that. I saw that you were right. That is awesome. Wait, yeah. but who else is going to meet you there? Someone else you said to someone on one. I was uh, watching a couple of the Chris. boys. Oh, let's talk about F Boy Island. Yes. yes. Thank you for the segue. Look at you. Okay, Chris. <laughs> by the way, I DM'd him. Chris. And I told him that I watched uh, your tub talk. And he wrote back, he's like, oh, I'm so glad you watched it. And I was like, I felt like such, he is, oh, I, I like him. He's great. He's great. I thought he was great. Um, I Mark, can't spoil it. Mark, Who? Mark is actually going to introduce me to Bennett, Mark. who's like his BFF now. Wait, Bennett from, from, yep. it's so weird. They're all so like, it, yeah, but it's just weird. Well, so Mark, and I talked about this on the podcast with Mark, but Mark reached out to Bennett because he, they're both in finance. Okay. And he wanted to be reassured that he was doing the right thing. I think he was very torn as far as going on. Interesting. And Bennett was like, it was a wonderful experience, which I was actually kind of shocked to hear Bennett say that. Yeah, it was right? a wonderful experience, t- right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's got a lot of backlash, but that's what he said. So yeah. um, he basically convinced Mark to to go okay. on the show. So let's talk about F-Boy because F-Boy yeah. technically is not part of Bachelor Nation. No, 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 no. It's HBO Total Max. HBO. HBO so Max, now, yes. right, and so now, yeah. can I toot your horn a little bit more? Yeah, of course. So, Aaron, toot toot. Um, HBO reached out to you, mm-hmm. and they said, "Can you?" Uh, F Boy Social, F Boy Island Social reached out right. to me on behalf of, of HBO Max. Just okay, and they yeah, said, "Can you please take our people and interview them?" And you got <laughs> access to all of the F Boys. Yeah, I love what's his face. What's the one that I love? Um, what's the There's cutie so patootie? Many. The one with CJ. Oh, oh, uh, Casey. Casey's coming on, I want to say Wednesday. We've Thursday been chatting a bit. I don't know. Thursday We've is when the finale and, uh, drops. So he said he wanted to come like either right wait, after all, that. Wait, there's only six of them? Six episodes? Yeah. No, there's 10. There's 10. So oh, there's God, four more that drop on Thursday. The okay, because this, ep- this episode everyone's listening to, I'm, as you know, it's it's um September 3rd, 7th, this comes out. So it's, okay. it's Tuesday, September 7th right now. So, so now you can watch all of it. F-Boy one time? <laughs> I can't think in my head. Everyone watch Everyone watch F-Boy. People, I mean, I got to show Nikki okay. Glazer, Nikki Glasser, oh Nikki Glazer. She Hilarious. Is. She's awesome. The best one-liners. And Jen, I met her. Uh, she had stand, she had a stand up show. This is hysterical. Okay, she had a stand up show in San Jose, and I was in the audience. Oh my God. And she was talking about a particular person in Bastard Nation, and I knew exactly who she was talking to uh, talking about. I knew she was talking about Nick Vial, who I also adore. I like him too. And so she's like, I don't know if anybody knows who I'm talking about. And I was like, Nick Vial! I screamed <laughs> it. And she's like, You. 
I want to meet you after the show. And I'm like, yes, yes. Did you meet her? Yeah. Oh my God. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. She's hilarious. And she and I were literally drooling over Nick. She's like, oh my God, isn't he just like sex on a stick? I'm like, yeah, he literally is. When I met him, he was wearing pants so tight. It was insane. And he just was owning it. He was so sexy, Jen. I cannot yes. tell. He was like oozing sex appeal. It was insane. He is. And you know, he has that TikTok podcast, whatever he does. And he, sometimes he says the dumbest stuff to these girls. I'm like, he does. He does not. He, but he is, he is delicious. He is delicious. Yes. But that Chris, I love. What's his name? That's not his name. Uh, the CJ. Casey. Casey. Casey Jones, so I, I, I think. Something like that. Yeah. So when he went out, I, oh God, I can't run it. Okay. I'm not spoiling. I'm not spoiling. I did DM him and I was like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And he, and he said, just, he, I never thought he would, he says, just you wait. I went, so I was so excited, but yeah. So you have to tell me when he's, when is he coming on your, but he's coming on. Uh, Later this week, he said, but he was excited to come on and and he was going to come on on Monday, but he's like, no, no, you know what? There's so much that happens. Let, let me do it after, you know. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, let's do it. Yes. Is he, is he going to be on Tub Talks? Cause you have Tub Talks, you have so many. Okay. So, okay. So you have Tub Talks Mm -hmm. is... Live, 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 I do live. Yes, I do live. Okay, you understand that you have children as well. How would you do all this? (laughs) I have a let's see, there's six and about to be nine. I have an incredibly supportive husband, also named Aaron. I don't think we mentioned that. So we're Aaron and Aaron. Yes, he is, he's incredible. And your husband is Aaron, yeah. I never knew that. Yes, we're Aaron and Aaron. I gotta love it. Okay, Annie. So- Everyone calls us Annie. Arts and entertainment. I'm clearly the entertainment. Am I not, Jen? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So you've, you've Supportive. one, two, three. So yeah. So all of your links are going to be in the show notes so everybody can find you. So is there what, so the easiest place to really find you is on Instagram. Absolutely. I follow yes. you and you keep climbing. Your numbers keep going up oh, and the best place to find you. So everybody find Erin Hill. If you want all of her podcasts, all of her, her tub talk, her batch after dark, her amazingness. And you also post amazing stuff. And I feel like you have like inside information. If you want some, if you're into, ba- <laughs> if you're into bachelor nation, this is where you follow. So, um, I have links in your bio for all of your stuff. So it's real easy, yeah. but they'll also be on my show notes. So, before I let you go, because I know that you have big stuff to do, anything that we need to know about F Boy or anything big or anything that a little tidbit you could give us? I don't know. Um, as far as what's to come, well, I will say that when you become an HBO Max partner, you continue to have access to all the shows that they're going to have. So, you know, 12 Dates of Christmas, I'll be able to interview the cast. I don't know that one. What is that? Um, I mean, God willing, maybe I could even, you know, do some of the the uh, Sex in the City reboot cast. Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, being a part of the HBO Max family, you have all of these options. So I feel incredibly honored. And uh, this is, it's, it's a huge honor. It really it is. is. So I, I don't know. I don't know what is, you know, to come because of, of this, uh, this incredible partnership. So do they want my TV pilot by any chance? Can you help me out there? <laughs> I can, I can definitely pitch it to them, Jen, for sure. <laughs> I can. Oh, I know. Let's get this pile. I, I love the idea of it. I love it so much. I think it'd be amazing. Like, I really do. One day I'm going to see it on the TV because someone else is going to have it. I'll be like, well, that's my show. I don't know. That's my show. Oh God my gosh. I love you. I love that I, love I got to see too. your face. I love that we got yes. to chit chat in real life. I I R L. I think that's what it is. Who knows? Yes. Um, yes. And this is awesome. And I just, huge congratulations to you. Thank and you. Um, I just love seeing your stuff. I love reposting it. I love sharing it. I'm obsessed with The Bachelor since I was in the sorority house. In 19, Same. you won't believe, 1994, 1993. Okay. I was there in 1996. Yeah. I so mean, we were all watching, much. all watching together. I mean, I'm old. Yeah. You're not old. I'm old. But um, yeah, no. it's just, it's great I'm, to talk I'm about I'm on this. that same boat as you. You know that. You know I that. think my listeners, <laughs> listeners, you're, I'm sure you loved this. I can't even tell you. So um, everybody, or just you, whoever's listening, please follow Aaron Hill. Um, your Instagram is, is getting cozy with Aaron. Mm-hmm. That's your IG, yep, it's your handle. G-E-T-N, yeah. Oh, G-E-T. Yep, G-E-T-N, yes. Cozy okay, G- with Aaron. Right, and then getting. Batch After Dark Pod. Um, right. You can get all the uh, the sexy interviews. We're going to have so many. Oh, my Who's gosh. Next? There's so many great people coming on. So many great people. Yeah. And we I mean, had, had great some, guests. Some really good ones. Some hot. They are hot. Make sure you wear your AirPods <laughs> and your kids aren't oh, around. Oh, yeah. Not safe for work. Not no, safe no, no, for work, no. those episodes. Absolutely not. I love them. No, I love we them. go there. You do. You <laughs> oh, go oh. there. And I'm very excited to say that some of the F-boys 
loved the idea of a sex podcast and they're actually going to come and co-host with me. I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think uh, Matt was excited too. Mark was excited too. There's a few guys that, oh, and Garrett, we love Garrett, right? Garrett's like the, your typical F boy. I knew Garrett before he was even on the show. You're kidding. No, I did. It's such a small world. Love Island, his ex, Lauren. I interviewed her on Top Talk. Wait a minute. I just started watching Love Island now. Last year. Oh, last year. But it's but I watch it. I didn't even know it was a show. I just start, I'm like I love running it. out of television. I really like it. I love it. I think it's I know. really good. There's so much to watch. So I'm excited. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So much to watch. I can't take it. Okay. So I'm it's so hard. excited. So anyway, everybody, um, all of your links there are going to be in my bio. So it's, I mean, in the show notes. So it's easy to find. Thank That's you so to. much for having oh me, my Jen. Gosh. I loved having you. I love this is my like my first episode back, everybody. So um you'll know where to find Aaron in my show notes. And everyone, you know where to find me. Um Jenniferherbits.com. What do I have going on? Nothing. I'm back. I'm just thrilled to be here. I can't believe it's been such a long summer. My kid um at this point is in college. So oh. um I know, but really he's leaving next week and I'm freaking out. So you know it's all <laughs> crazy. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Do something exciting, do something fun for yourself, take care of yourself, and as usual and always, I like to sign off by saying peace, love, and so much truth. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.